the moment we have all been waiting for guys you guys can already probably see through the window because i don't have front windshield tint so we're gonna be doing that down the road but man we just got the truck back i'm really really excited i got no words i really wanted to record right when i had gone to pick it up no mas que se me oscureció i want to go work uh, with my parents or whatever so i went i picked it up from from his house i felt really really bad because también me la había dado bien lavadita you know armor all on the tires or whatever but um pues como ahorita, i want to go pick it up a couple days ago ya se me volvió a ensuciar aquí la, la truck you know because i know you're going to start with your tu trocas siempre están sucias ya sé ya sé but we're going to be working on that but you guys can see man the freaking interior looks amazing i'm not going to do too much talking but I like it because you can already see like once you have the windows down this is this is kind of what I was going for you know I really wanted the the red to pop out when I'm driving you know because I do drive uh, with the windows down because quiero que la gente mire the, the interior you know let me go on the other side for this it might be new to you guys unless you're a real real OG we're talking back in 2019 um cuando este canal empezó a subir you know before when I had my real OG the interior was red yeah después como I started getting um followers subscribers or whatever I kind of felt that it was a, a little bit too basic because at the time, um, things were complicated. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, no? No había mucho dinero, entonces I kind of just went with the red, but I went with the red without a design because it was affordable, you know? And ahorita we redid it red, but as you can see, we added a, a, a the pattern here. But going back to the other subject, so ya cuando había más dinerito, and our views started going up thanks to you guys. You know, yo les debo a lot to you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have any of the things that, that I have, you know? So thank you guys on that part. But yeah, when I started making a little bit more money on YouTube or whatever the case was, is when I re decided to redo my interior. Y ya es cuando le hice yo gold to match my gold wheels. Pero, I'm not gonna lie, um, it wasn't the same thing. I kind of missed the red, you know? A lot of people were telling me like, you know what? Yeah, the, the gold interior looks really, really nice. Pero the, the red was just, it was just really it. So then from there, I was like, you know what? I was gonna go ahead and redo it red, but then it's cuando, it's cuando la, la vendí la troca, se la vendía choking around, I said reform, whatever. And then the, the truck went out of my control. Yeah, you, you know, la tuve. But initially, I did wanna go back to red because I did miss that red vibes, you know? But I told myself, you know what? One day I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of those truck years again, and, and I'm gonna do the interior red. Y ahora sí, lo voy a tener el design, you know? So this design is the original design that I had on the gold wheels. This is one of my dream designs. That's why I went ahead and did it. But it was now we have that design in the red. You know, and this has just been a, a OG thing. You know, I put my YouTube logo and then I put the Jerry Tweak. He was like, shout out to the new guy who wrapped it because we went with somebody totally new. That's what I saw and I've been promoting him a lot because let's just let his work speak for himself. Aquí le puso su logo. I told him it's okay, go ahead and put your logo, man. Because if it wasn't for my boy, you no, know, no, said we wouldn't have this interior. So shout out to my boy, the old school custom interior. Y luego aquí como pueden ver, hablando de diseños, aquí también le puso un diseño on the airbag, y también aquí on the... On, so there's a couple of things que sí le cambié, so my old truck, we have done this emblem delete, and, and I kind of regretted it um, antes, y ahorita with this, and I was like, you know what, I want that, that Chevy emblem on there. So that's why I went ahead and put the Chevy emblem, y también mi compa me pintó todos all these trims, you know, when I had my other interiors, all this was basic black, y pues all this was basic black, y pues mi compa lo, los pintó, Y también ahí con los, con los door switches, también son pintados, so that's something that I like. Y este center console is the only pretty much the big black that I left. Pero yo se lo dejé porque me gusta, me gusta el color del, del Rhino. I think they, they spray with red, uh, Rhino liner. Y ya lo único que sí cambió, um, mi compa me dijo, you know what, Jerry? He's not like, yo de que I do the interiors, yo te aconsejo que hay que ponerle poquito red para que se mire más o menos. Like, you know what, you're the one who, who pues, tú sabes, tú sabes tu trabajo. So yeah, he went ahead and added a little bit of red here, the pad, uh, a little bit of red here, and a little bit of red here. And I think it looks, it looks amazing. You know, este, este headliner, yo ya lo tenía, pero pues ya nomás me hizo, um, me pintó, con pintar los trims, todo esto. You know, huge shout out to Easy Clusters for the tablero too. So pretty much the interior of this truck, guys, it's, it's, it's not stock no more, you know? And I think for one of the next few videos, I'm gonna ask my primo que se la compré, if he's fine. Quiero agarrar su reaction. Quiero que de unas palabritas a ver qué piensa de su truck, you know? Um, I, I know it must suck for my primo seeing it now, así, but at the same time, me dijo él que, pues, me la quería vender a mí para que la siguiera viendo, because he knows it was going to be in good hands. Es, como pueden ver, um, una line. The only, lo único que sí quedó stock de este interior de mi primo es su double den. So, shout out to my primo for, for the double den. Todavía está ahí. Y luego también mi compa me hizo unos tapetes because the carpet, by the way, show him the carpet. Except that side's a little bit dirty already because 
Yeah, Simon, man. Pero pues lo vamos a limpiar. We're going to try to take care of this thing, man. We don't want to ruin it. It's so beautiful for nothing. Como les digo, under the tapete, under the tapete is actually a red. It's a, re a whole red carpet. Más que les digo, I need to clean it up already. Pero mi compa me dijo, you know what, Jerry? Te hice unos tapetes aparte. Because no quiero que vayas a ensuciar tu, tu, tu carpet. So, you shout out to mi compa. Y luego the door panels. Y nomás como... He also, he also painted these trims. And then I couldn't be, I couldn't be any more happy with the outcome of this. Just the whole truck in general. And then tear, you know, I think it's bringing me, it's bringing me so many memories, good memories, because man, honestly, if it wasn't for my other truck, the real, the one that I call the OG, this is a clone. But if it wasn't for the other truck, like I mentioned, I don't know where I would be right now in life because the other truck is really what made me blow up. And, Remember guys, this truck also is one of the trucks you guys could choose if you guys do win the raffle, you know, so Make sure you guys are buying your stickers. We are getting very very close to the deadline I'm gonna be um, giving you guys a day pretty soon, but we're pretty much ya estamos a fines de, de la giveaway. So if you haven't got your, your entries. I promise you it's gonna be the, the best 20 to 25 dollars you're gonna ever spend because if you win Eden you know, you know, quiero que vayan a pensar que nomás a una truck le, le estoy yo metiendo mano, you know, I, I'm trying to fix them all up so so you guys could see that that none of this is rigged or what if you guys thinking like, oh, what if he's wrapping that truck because it's broken? No, that's not the case, you know. Si por mi fuera, uh, I think I'm, I, this is a spoiler, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a cash price because por mi fuera, no quiero que ni se vaya ninguna de mis trucks. So make sure you guys get your stickers, you guys are not going to regret it. Let me know what you guys think about the interior down in the comments. Make sure you guys smash the, this like button, guys, because my boy Old School Custom dice que um, he's going to go based off of the likes. A ver cuánto, cuánto me va a cobrar. So please, the more likes we get, the less vamos a pagar. So please like the video. Up next, we are gonna be throwing on finally some intros on the OG 2.0. And um, I know I asked you guys in one of the previous videos, what truck should I throw them on? I was really indecisive between Bouncing Betty, my my extended cab, or the OG the OG 2.0. Yeah, I was getting blown up by all three, you know, so everybody had their opinions. People said the extended cab, the blue SS clone, turbo Betty, um, and people were saying the OG 2.0. The OG 2.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the OG 2.0. Just because as of now, it's pretty much the truck, uh, pretty much, I want to say is like 90% done, you know? So pretty much, I think if we throw these wheels, it's just going to need uh, just the engine swap, pretty much, converted from a V6 to a V8. And other than that, pues las otras todavía le falta an interior. And, but, and you guys get the point, but I feel like this is the one that I'm going to be using the most. Uh, this is the, the truck that I feel comfortable driving as a daily. So I, so I decided, why not? We just got a brand new interior. Why not put the intros? But I think they are going to be temporary because um, they are a little bit small. They're 22s. So I think they're going to be a little bit too small for this truck. And also because these trucks are a lot bigger in body. You know, the body was made a little bit more beefier. That's what I like. So I think pretty much this truck would sit perfect on a pair of 24s or 26s. So this is just going to be temporary. Uh, I think it's going to look really, really nice. And then maybe down the road, we'll go ahead and get some bigger wheels. I don't know, maybe the gold wheels back or some intros, but they are going to be definitely be bigger, bigger than 24 at least. Um, I think we're going to be staying at 26s though. And then maybe later we'll put the 22s on one of the other two um, cat eyes. But with that being said, enough talking. Let's go ahead and uh, take out, get rid of these freaking four ugly stocks. And then let's, let's throw some intros on. I actually have mixed match wheels. So right now I have these 17s, nicely powder coated. I know you guys saw that vlog where I took them to get powder coated. So, I mean, this side doesn't look too bad. Just black on black. But yeah, once you get to this side, once you get to this side, then you have two different types of uh, other stocks. And these are 17, I believe, as well. But this side, I don't really like. So let's go ahead and get rid of all these four wheels. And I got my little helpers right here. Segundo, they're going to help. And we're going to be throwing these um, these nice 22s that we bought. Say hi, Adeline. Adeline, say hi. Say hi. And my daughter's so pretty. Say hi. Mira, dile hi a la camera. Unless it's bien traviesa, if you guys are wondering. So these are the these are the 22s. They're 22s all around. The mask, the lip, and on the back ones are a little bit bigger. And this, these are the front ones, a little bit smaller. But these do fit the stock diff, so we're not worried about that. This is the before. We'll go ahead and get you guys after right now. 
took it off and I got my little helper, but I'm scared, you know, I'm scared to, it's a scary feeling because this is not a game, you know, it can be very crucial. So my daughter might cry, but it's pretty much, hold this one, Mia. It's pretty much getting rid of the 17 out. And don't get me wrong, these are not, these are not ugly either, it's just, I just, ya me aburrieron pues, you know, I'm a, I'm a rim type of guy. So we take it off, and then the tires, it's too bulky. Not once we throw this one on. See, now it looks, no, this one looks too small. It looks small, man. Looks good? They look small? Good. They, they look small, but they look good. And then also, I don't have no chrome lug nuts right now, so I gotta order myself a set. But we got one down, three more to go. All right, guys, so there it is on the wheels. And I know it looks really, really funny because of the drop, the big old gap. It's because we're running such a thin tire. But like I mentioned in the previous videos, we are gonna be lowering it. I wanna say another three, four inches in the front. We need to slam this thing. We still need those fog lights and we gotta fix this lip. Right, quedo. I think you guys are right. They do look really, really small, but at the same time, I don't think they look too bad. For example, the back, even though it has a gap, but it doesn't look too bad. But I think it's that front we gotta get to ASAP. But there it is. But these are gonna be temporary. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.